hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so thank you so much for watching for those who have not subscribed please do and for those who have thank you so much all right so let's get to the time lapse so this is lalisa in her thai outfit in her latest music video single called lalisa so she's really gorgeous in here so here is me doing the outline and then after i did some basic outline i will start doing the details which i usually love to start from the eyes and from there i will start moving on into doing the digital painting itself so there you go so the way i do digital painting is kind of like almost after i do the eyes i would do different places sometimes it's not the same steps and procedures but um basically i would start from the eyes and sometimes the nostrils and the lips itself and then i'll start moving forwards towards i'll be moving forwards from there okay so then uh, sometimes you would see me suddenly i'm doing the hair and suddenly i'm doing the clothes and suddenly i'm doing the background so it isn't very organized the way i do my digital paintings i kind of like go with the flow and and usually um i like to just fill it in to see um how it look looks and if it looks okay if there's something that i need to fix so so yeah if someone were to ask me a step by step way to um, produce a digital painting is kind of hard because i don't have a one two three step but yeah i guess there is a basic step for the outlines and then i do the eyes and then from there i slowly work up and build on it but that's the great thing about digital painting um and you can have different layers but usually i don't try to work on too many layers the only reason um why i like to do layers first of course if there's like separate like um the hair and the background uh, yeah i usually like to do it in different layers sometimes the clothes i like to go in different layers the eyes and then i would like combine them or merge them i would i would usually um do a few layers and i merge do a few layers and merge unless i want to have these um different layer opacities and um effects um layer blending modes yeah that's what you call it sometimes i like to use the multiply the overlay the color dodge the add it depends so it's like an experimental kind of thing i would would go sometimes um if multiply doesn't seem to work i try color dodge if color dodge looks weird i try to soft light so on and so forth so there's actually no one by one step to do these things it's always changing each time sometimes i adapt the same method sometimes i don't so it's really hard to see so i think this is why sharing these kind of time lapse and these progress are important and yeah even the brushes itself i don't use the same ones each and every of my digital paintings however there are a few that i do always stick to which is many many times i have said in my videos is anx and kodiri pencil so those two are my main 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 um brushes that i use previously 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 i did something like i prefer salamanca mm, and another one gosh 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 yeah i liked those but um what i i had issues with that because um with the salamanca and gosh they have kind of like a texture which is great but sometimes it kind of leaves like those little small gaps and holes in it which is kind of hard to fill in so um i found the anx brush which i think is perfect it is very intu intuitive um it just goes like the harder you press the more solid it is the lighter you press the most and the same with kajiri pencil as well um the, the the thickness and the sharpness of the um pencil itself um depends on how you press on the screen and how you tilt your apple pencil so yeah i use again i use procreate to create this with the ipad pro 2020 version and the apple pencil second generation i think if you are to use an ipad the these three is a great combination you definitely need the apple pencil because um it does help a lot i mean if i were i wouldn't be able to do this with my fingers or any other stylus third-party stylus i don't think so so i think the apple pencil is a great investment it is slightly expensive but it is a great investment to 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 get if you get the ipad and you want to draw please try your best and save up and get an apple pencil okay so anyway um this video is about six minutes long 
I'll let you continue watching because I don't know what else to say because I'll keep on rambling and rambling and rambling. To be honest, this is like my, what, fifth, sixth attempt of recording my voice over and over again. <laughs> so I think this is going to be my last. I'm getting really tired right now. I can't wait to upload this. So that is all. I hope you enjoy this video to the end. And, I know, and as always, if you have anything to ask, just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try and answer as best as I can. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Till the next video. 